Good afternoon and welcome back to the Rising Superstream. How you guys doing today? We're gonna be playing Control. I'm super excited for this game. It sounds really quiet. Can you guys hear it okay? I'm not sure if it's if it's just me, but it seems a little quiet. I've got my my nice control theme on my PlayStation. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it because it's like kind of a depressing feeling theme. And when I look at my PS4, I don't necessarily want to be depressed, but hey. Okay, we'll see how the actual game sounds, I guess. So this just came out today. Uh, I'm I'm really ex I'm just really excited for it. Remedy's great. I need to play through the 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 their earlier titles. Like I never finished Alan Wake. I never finished all of their. Uh, oh my god. What is their like OG series called? How the fuck did I forget this? The one where you jump around is Sam Lake. Sam Sam Lake dives. Max Payne. Fucking thank you. <laughs> I played the first game, but but not the others. My buddy keeps telling me that I should. Actually, it's a lie. I played like a bunch of the third game when that came out, um, which was which was all right. Um, but I played Quantum Break, and I thought Quantum Break was pretty cool. Felt a little slow. It it's a really fun game marred by like some some of the odd ambitious decisions like the tv show thing that didn't really pan out but on the original xbox there's like a huge amount of input latency too that i absolutely hate so so is this audible at all to you guys this like quiet ambient or can, can you hear this shit okay because i really would like to make sure you guys can hear before like was, was, was that sounding okay before we get to like cutscenes and nobody can hear a thing. <laughs> this stream gonna be good for my 12 hour shift at work? Yeah, I'll save you a few hours. I have school today, so can't save you the whole way though. Oh my god, all these options. I love it. Oh my god, all these options. Full remapping. That's awesome. Uh, immute copyrighted music. Fuck. Maybe I should check that. <laughs> Damn it. Very thoughtful of them to offer that, but... <laughs> subtitles, normal size. Oh, look, subtitle background. I love that option. I don't use it, but I love that option. Sign tra Oh, cool. That's cool. Shows translated text for signs in the game. I'm going to leave that off, actually. Superbro says, is it just me or does footage of this game in action look really similar to Infamous? So there's definitely a lot of floating and using powers, so, so, you know, I can see the comparison. My voice seems low. My voice might be a little better now, but this is all I can do. I recommend you turn up your speakers. <laughs> That's my fix. My fix is you turn up your speakers. <laughs> I don't. That's okay. This is fine. New game. Oh, look, it gives you all the options up front. Super handy. Here are some common options. It's true. These are from, like, multiple of those options screens all, like, slammed into one. That's actually, like, really thoughtful, doing that. <laughs> Get hearing aids. That's the solution. Yeah. I will, I will partially fund your hearing aids. That's all I can do for you. Yeah, Minoria looks awesome. Good I morning. would like to play it, but I absolutely don't have this time. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. Game audio's a bit high. I can adjust the room. that down a little. And the poster. Put it down to 70%. The picture's something nice. 
a landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? See, some of you Hello? guys talking about it in the chat, and yeah, I've always gotten Anyone the vibe here? that the like SCP Foundation sort of vibe from this game too, so I'm hopeful that that's exactly what we're gonna get. So right out of the gates, uh, it feels a way more responsive than Quantum Break, which is really nice, because that was easily my biggest complaint about that. Uh, Quantum Break also had like an insane amount of readables and stuff. I'll read over a few, but they're all generally pretty pong. <laughs> There's a bunch of good stuff though. Like Quantum Break has like novel quality stuff in it. It's ridiculous. Uh, certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. A uh, bunch of smart stuff. Anything smart. Number two. Number two pencils. I wonder why. Any objects considered iconic representation of an archetypal concept, e.g., rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All materials under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please, not please notify your supervisor immediately. That's incredibly specific. It just makes me wonder SCP things again. All the environment art in this game is so strong. There's this one room in particular that I saw in the previews that I hope we get to, because I'm going to scream when I get to it. It's got this awesome, like, cube design that I love. Is the mirror working? Oh, there's no mirror. Look at that. How inconvenient for, for this bathroom to not have a mirror. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. She's been looking for them, okay. I was under the impression she worked there or something. As someone who like really only saw the trailers that played at press conferences. Hello? Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Oh, uh, we're playing on go PS4, by the, the way, yeah. Elevator. Sorry. Thanks. PS4 Pro. Elevator that way. Oh, yeah, Wedelo, you gotta look up what SCP Very is. Good. It's really cool. I got him. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they uh, You are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Yeah, fuck these signs. Gotta take care of them real quick. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. 
Let us know how the PS4 Pro. I've been trying PS4 to pull Pro it down ever since. With the patch, actually, let me check. Do I? Am I patched? It seems like we are. Will you help? I mean, you'll be able to see for yourself. The game target's 30, and we're streaming at 60, so you'll get a get a good glimpse at when stuff goes awry. If it does, I'm not actually sure how this game performs, but I didn't really read up on it. So, uh, uh, <laughs> my money's on licensed music normally going here. Uh, we, of course, checked that option to turn it off. Um, because this track is bland as hell. It's better than in Life is Strange, though. Life is Strange 2, particularly. Where, if you turn off the licensed music, nothing plays. It's, it's not great. It's actually, like, really disappointing that they don't have anything else play in Life is Strange 2. And you just end up with these completely silent scenes. Like, they're nice visuals, but only getting ominous rumbling feels like half the package. Oh. Oh. Such a nice segue. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Results of AWE's altered Objects world power, events, okay. intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. This is a great way to use live action footage. Astral plane challenge. Yeah, okay. Boy, these reflections. How gorgeous. Not the same gun. I really like the design of that gun. And just how okay. all the parts are like now vibrating constantly. It seems like an auto reloads there, yeah. I like how it's called the service weapon, that's like a great name. Calling it the service weapon, like the title or something, makes it all the more special. It's almost like these guys at Remedy are like good at writing or something. You slash we wield the gun slash you. Uh -huh. We wield you, you wield the gun. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. 
duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. God, this composite shot, you like, hear that? you don't see that type of shot in games. It's the dead that man. is, like, usually reserved for right film. After That's the wild. The spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. That's and Remedy, I guess. alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Hopefully the halls aren't just filled with enemies now. I really hope it's someone helping for us. I should probably Google it instead of You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You... So I actually, I probably actually have to come back to that bank map. Assets, missions, collectibles. Maybe I have a map somewhere. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. The hotline. The oh, that's so cool. Communication. Got it. Such incredibly great effects here. Okay, so all these people are just floating around here, by the way, which oh, and they seemingly are protected from my shots. Whoa, fuck, that effect when enemies disappear. That also happened when I tried to shoot at these guys. Ah, I can turn down the game some more, yeah. Crank it down to 50%. Why my mic? Like the game, the game is maxed out. It doesn't. But you're right. It does look a little quiet. What the hell? Ah, uh, that might be a little better. But I had to take off the pop filter. That's weird. The gain seems really low today, but it's maxed. Like, don't know what to do. I guess we'll just deal. I've already picked up a bunch of these things. Uh, service weapon, OOP1KE. This is definitely SCP, and I am m more excited than ever. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description slash, slash parautility, para parautility, rather. There we go. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows parautilitarians to. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the redacted, though their criteria is unknown. Okay, so that's those are probably the, the whatever being that, that spoke to us before. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis redacted. Many forms throughout history redacted. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varanustra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. So maybe this weapon was previously other weapons? 
That's rad. Yeah, the oldest house, I think, is what they refer to this place as, but I'm not totally sure. Hiss guard. Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards are the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed parent paranatural abilities with the exception that certain his guards are protected by a shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets is this shielding a result of prolonged his corruption does the his mature an organic host over time more data is needed did the his target individuals with combat training does the his have that level of cognizance does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to combat trained hosts are reserved for combat these are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on their use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Yeah, this couldn't be more SCP, and I absolutely love it. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, Zachariah Trench. Security order. Wow, well, something uh, redacted a shark in his redacted all those secure redacted permission to redacted following basic protocol redacted shoot to kill redacted good luck i'm keen to see that shark show up at some point and i assume this will be the video the objects of power oh look you can actually like watch objects it cleanly power can cause or be results of a that's cool i'm not going to do that right this second but oh i got a weapon mod Oh yeah, okay, so there's a bunch of slots here, and there's personal mods as well. Uh, so I have a rare one, and I have this one. Damage after a kill, reload speed. Well, I can equip multiple, right? Oh, only one right now. Okay, well, reload speed seems useful right now. Astral health boost, yeah, let's go for it. Maybe I have these two rare ones because I pre-ordered the game. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's such a strong like aspect of the presentation. Like oh, that's so earlier. good. The hiss. It's so filmic. Like everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. That's so powerful. I'm in love with it. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from, are you here, sorry, are you from New York or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redacted immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. It's our enemy. They worry about having uh, it burrows in like an infuriating melody that moves from from it over and over. I can't read all of these or else we're never gonna move forward. There's like seriously a lot of writing in their games, and it's like all pretty darn solid, but I can't tell what I'm interacting with. Turn something on. Whoa. Whoa. Pyramid. What does she do when she's reloading? What do we animate? You know, like, what's the answer to that? Shatter recoil efficiency. Yeah, I need to get more slots. It seems like there's quite a few, so. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Oh, 
look at that, the room returns to a, a fairly normal, completely normal state. That's Holy so cool. Shit. That works so well. You did it. We did and there's it. like not a seam in sight. Can you hear me? That's for dicks. Are you with us? Remedy or nuts. With the bureau. Are you still safe? Oh, you can fast travel from these points, okay. Also, outfits. What do, what do we got? What pre-order bonuses do we got? Tactical response. Astral dive suit. That's cool. Urban me. response. We saw you. I'm gonna go with civilian. Compromised agents. Is it safe to come out? Oh, look, this is a shelter. Whoa, that's so cool. This is like so absurdly heavy duty. Tells you so much about the world. I love it. I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. She's just visiting, but she's recognized as the new director. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Yeah, like, because she got the gun, she's the director. No the director, obviously. How'd they find out about it so quickly? How does, how does this work? This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and... You probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Oh, Push the hiss out. I guess this is all you need. Control points. Uh, examination of paranatural, paranatural top. There's so many like interesting para words. Paranatural, <laughs> paranatural topics. I can't read. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. 
When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the redacted arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted detection of an unobstructed ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or redacted or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be redacted. Jeez. What a terrifying building. has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Okay, so we got one real kill under our belt. I can't cleanse them. We're doing good. Saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown ordinary 17 I imagine that's a real place and boy that's Bureau a real good choice of hometown for this game I've been looking for this place for a long time that's enough maybe that's too much already I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary you were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The oh, it's in Virginia. Ghost or whatever he cool, is. Cool, so it is real. He mentioned like something that. called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found I really it. appreciate that like it's not stopping Only to explain to anything. Hiss, destroy it all. She's just moving forward with the narrative constantly. Are you reading all of the collectibles? We've read most of them, but if I, if I read all of them, we're not going to get very far. Because they're quite in-depth. But I know they're great, so...
know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are okay. no... The hotline should be in the communications department. Oh boy, there's a lot. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna Can ask about objects of power, object of power, and then we're gonna move on. Exactly. <laughs> this is all, well, new to me. <clears throat> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. Yeah, hit so me. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Got Does it. she memorize this? She loves it. She's so into it. Got it. Thanks. Okay, good enough for now. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay, let me just crack open this chest. Get some high-level loot. Come on, head right out. House memory. And assets. Yeah, so I have all these materials. I don't know if these are for upgrading stuff or whatever. And there's also clearance levels down there, which I guess are for, like, locked doors and such. Yeah, so we have a little marker that kind of tells us where to go. Oh, and here's our map. Okay. Oh, I like that big circle room over there. There it is again. Our welcome message. Yeah, like here. I need a higher clearance level. Yeah, yeah. there are going to be any like real subtle objects of power that don't like overtly go at you but you can like find them in the environment and they do shit because that would be really cool uh <laughs> okay yeah so we got a director picture already up on the walls here yeah okay there we i was literally just fucking talking about that so that's cool Oh, so good. Okay, that doesn't look mysterious at all. It's a dead end, so let's... Uh, oh, no, let's not go this way yet. It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. See, the hiss barriers just break when you, when you kill all the enemies. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we're in the haunted men's room. Just vaporize the toilet. <laughs> Mustard. Controller rumbled a little there. I don't know what that was. Oh, the rumble might have been. Your... Yeah, okay, when you're reloading, it rumbles. Ah, okay, yeah, when it finishes reloading, it rumbles. That's cool. Very subtle.
still good. Still really good. Oh no, I ruined his entire desk by walking into it. I'm not very good at Fortnite. How's the input latency on this game? Good question. Quantum Break has terrible input latency. It's great, actually. It feels totally fine. I'm uh, impressed with that, because that was something they got very wrong with Quantum Break, because of how much post-processing there was. This game, without a doubt, corrects that. The environments are a lot smaller in this game, and I think that was a good choice. Or, well, maybe not that they're smaller in terms of square footage, but they're, like, less expansive visually. Quantum Break had a lot of, like, outdoor environments, so... Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. Could that be why pencils are forbidden now? And once? Did it get better? We even launched a cup. Okay, I need to get me that floppy. Communications. We're on the right track. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Something going on in pneumatics. What is happening in here, guys? Object oh, of the floppy power. must be floppy. Looks like the pulse of last from the end. We need to cleanse it. So dangerous. Uh, 
Okay, no, it stopped. Okay, good. <laughs> Floppy disk slash nuke can be bound. It can launch slash telekinesis. Teach us to believe, directly. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? Yeah, back on the astral plane. I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh, this is just like playing silver. Like a really responsive good silver. Yeah, silver does bear some resemblances to gravity rush holding me. It's sure that hadn't really occurred. You're not wrong. Oh wow, okay. So you can like toss stuff even when it's really at a distance so you can go from where it's at. That's really strong. That's actually like way better. That controls surprisingly well. To just grab something distant and shoot it like next to itself. It's thoughtful. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. Yeah, you gotta wait for that to reload for a while. Get two shots, I guess. Yeah. I think that's everyone. Pretty darn powerful. It's almost like whoever wrote this tutorial tooltip knew how it would work. Yeah, I've seen another door foamed up like this. I guess these are just forbidden forever, since it goes right off the edge of the map. Do you think we have control of the situation here? Uh, uh. Maybe like 20 more powers, I'll do that one. So clearly I'm supposed to head that way. There was another spot just back down this hallway that I wanted to check out too. Yeah, just real quick before we advance. Oh, I love how this is built to like let the light in. I want to say natural light, but I honestly don't know. Oh, shit, I thought there was a staircase. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there it is. Oh, just the chest. Okay. Yeah, it is natural light. Okay, yeah. Gooey <laughs> Gareth says, I don't think anything about this building is natural. You know, fair point. You're Emily probably said that the totally right. The mail room. You know what, I did get a few more mods. So right now I have health up, but I could get launch efficiency. I'm gonna put launch efficiency on now, since health 
is not really a priority at this point. So hopefully I can launch stuff a little quicker. Last time we were able to just blast wide open. Level one, there we go. Would not be shocked if we need that for the mail. Oh, I actually need to stand here. Thank you for staying up with us, ghosts. We've had many callers over the years. Okay, I'm not gonna listen to this kook. Some of the control points seemingly don't have as much going on, like visually and stuff. This must open the door. Definitely more for just practical reasons, right? Just more fast travel points. And there was also a third floor. I'm doing this as like inefficiently as possible, but. Oh yeah, it's locked right now. Oh no, wait. Okay, no, I got the clearance for it. Okay, this looks safe. Uh. Oh wow, you take a lot of damage when you stay in that for a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to really progress into that right now. I wonder if there's like more of a system to that with how that guy was named. Like are there going to be no more named people? Are we going to learn about these named people? It seems like there actually is a room on the other side of this. Maybe it's only accessible from the other side of the building or something, but maybe later we get something that can break through those. I don't know. So many possibilities. God, those people started me for a second. <laughs> Oh, 
Mas. Great. They're playing good. Yeah, I don't need dead life, so I actually need to be really careful here. I gotta use the soldiers to regenerate, otherwise I'm not gonna stand much of a chance. It's a shooter with a. Uh, Let's stay focused. I wouldn't even say horror. It's a shooter with like sort of sci-fi mystery aesthetic. I guess some people could interpret it as horror. Definitely no horror gameplay though. That's for sure. Oh wait, I can open this door from the back, so I can at least uh, access that. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damaged Alberto to Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. ...to make a full recovery. Of course, the we have got him. their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, we're the odds and all to that and we show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? Jesus. <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? The hotline can't be far now. Hotline's such a good name for, like, a special phone. Like, I know it's an actual thing, but using it as, like, a proper noun here where it's capitalized is pretty strong. <laughs> I love how it kills all the other UI when it does that. How far along are we so far? 50% through the story? I don't think we're anywhere close to 50%, to be honest with you. Transition. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. I think this is, this bell is, yeah, it's opening the doors, like it's alternating through them. Okay, let's go check out the rooms, I guess. Okay, we got empty. We 
that also empty. Keys, okay. The key has a black pyramid on it. This doesn't mean I shouldn't examine literally all the other rooms though. Oh, it's only the three on that side, okay. Never mind. Yeah, probably the earlier door. Oh yeah, it has a yeah, black pyramid on it as well. Oh yeah, look, white triangle, another mysterious shape. This is swoos. Oh man, how how smooth is this transition gonna be? Not quite as smooth, but still pretty good. Foreshadowing your transitions, risky business. Love it. I'm glad I could help you get through some depression, Soulshine. It's my pleasure, and if I can help energize you a little, then all the better. Whoa, God, the thing's massive. I was wondering if you'd be even able to see the top. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't mention this, Soul Shine, but yeah, congratulations on the job, absolutely. Sort of, sort of skimmed that bit. Oh, was I damaging the floor when I shot it? Oh, no, okay. Those things damaging the floor, yeah. Oh, this is like directly under the pyramid. That's cool. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. It's so cool how completely blank it is. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Just casual phone call from the dead. The hotline. And we're in the I office. Can reach and well, and now we're back. To him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with Mysterious is seriously info. understating this. I need to get back to Emily. So people have been saying there's an audio desync. People react. I might be able to address it a little bit. When I talk about when, you. Is the gunshot late or is it early? Is it too soon to the tell sound. Emily? She might be able to help. Let me know, because I might be able to address it a little bit, but the gunshot's early, so you're hearing the sound before the animation plays, yeah? Oh, 
Oh, shit. Not like, oh, shit, like I know exactly what's doing it, but I changed the way my setup works a little bit today because I was having trouble with something, and I'm not sure that with the way it's working, I can actually change it right now, but I think that might be why there's a problem. I think, unfortunately, this stream is just going to have to live with it, and I'll just have to fix what was broken before instead of trying to use this trick. Sorry about that, guys. I like how the enemies can get knocked over, too. I think that's quite fun. Oh my god, yes he did. Oh! <laughs> Seems like they home to a certain degree as well. Central Executive. Although I could fast travel from this spot. Yeah, I wonder how quick the fast travel is. Uh, Central Executive. Oh, okay, real load. Okay, okay. Everything was so seamless, I was like, could they really? Could they really manage it? But no, I mean, that's a a lot to ask. Okay, so that's the cafeteria and junk. Can we just look through here real quick? Oh yeah, there was a bathroom here I just want to swing in real quick. Now that we have uh, clearance level stuff. This, uh, this weapon loot system seems all right. It's not the most thrilling thing in the world. Remedies games don't really tend to have anything like that or any sort of RPG elements, really. Jesse, um, did you get the hotline? I mean, how Quantum Break, you could like choose to upgrade your skills in different Sorry. orders and such, but otherwise, I'm glad. not much in the Emily? way of like character customization. Let's talk. So it's uh, of course. It's, it's an interesting si system. It it. I got the hotline. Well, I could make out with interesting to that they implemented something like this. I don't know if it's too Incredible. interesting in itself. It, what Maybe did you when say? you can equip multiple at the same he time, talked about it'll, his management it'll feel team. a little more enjoyable. But right now, there's not much secrets. going on there. Your boss, pretty plain. darling, hey. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador, he's the you head see of the security. Cool model someone made of silver. If he and were in Marshall? Sonic Adventure 2, I didn't actually. Helen Marshall is, is made, head of like, operations. To the, She's to the tough. Standards of the time, sort of. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. That would be neat. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding yeah, I'm still curious about this whole you person. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. It's 
this janitor is like the source of all evil or something. <laughs> He's definitely a lot more, like, super important. That's for sure. Four ability points. This happened too last time we finished a scene in here. Where the game just froze up for a sec. I'm sorry. Not a huge deal. Yeah, missions, collectibles, where are our ability points at? I think we don't have those right now. Hopefully, we'll get more slots soon too. Okay, so a little. Oh, at control points, okay. Say they'll teach Do you me. hear that? Someone's singing. Singing. Where's it coming from? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I will check that out right after it's the whole ability point. Astral Here? constructs. Oh, that's the stuff I had too. And board countermeasures. Okay, we got options. Stuff's happening now. 10% health, 10% energy, 10% melee damage, 24% launch damage. Wow, we don't have thrilling choices right now. And then these other ones are all locked off. Well, <laughs> okay, and then along the bottom, there's uh, use three ability points to unlock ad additional weapon form slot, 15 to get another personnel, and then 30 to get another personnel as well. All right, well, I may as well use three, I guess. Let's go full melee build. Okay, there we go. We got the weapon slot at least. Facilities. Otherwise, we need more, uh, more things. Okay, so weapon forms and mods. Construct shatter. Shatter has a high stopping power with scatter. Sh okay, so shotgun form. Is that what is that what we're looking at here? Let's make that. And then mods. I just spent a bunch of money. So okay, this is just you can roll for mods, I guess. Okay. Also upgrade mods. Oh, no, 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 okay, upgrade to enable higher tier mods. Okay, so when you upgrade, you're able to roll better ones, I guess. Okay, well, I'll have to... Oh, and refresh, I guess, rotates the selection. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother rolling early ones. And then board countermeasures. Kill enemies without dying. Oh, these are, these are like little in-game achievement objectives. Okay. Kill enemies using melee. Using grip, kill enemies with headshots. Using grip, kill enemies with headshots. Uh, okay. Oh, you can only accept three at once. Okay. Well, that's fine. From the okay. containment sector. I'll put in the and we got an extra uh, gun slot as well. How do I switch forms with my gun as well? Oh, I can't do that right now. Okay, uh, voice from the elevator. Right, let's get on that. Right after we pick up all these papers. director pictures just immediately changed to her. That's dope. What a nice touch. Really helps, like, characterize the building. <laughs> Can't find your office? Watch your step. 
It's so good. How is it so far? It's really good. Very mysterious. If you want a mysterious game, this is what you're going to get. Oh, it cleans level four, yeah. I don't suppose there's anything new in the director's office. Okay, it's just square to switch weapon form. Okay. So now I got this shotgun style thing. That's cool. Oh, look, no, there's new papers in the director's office, of course. still all over the place. Uh, where did this go again? Oh, this goes to the hotline chamber. Oh, wow, look, we got a, a fast path to the hotline chamber now that opened up. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, but we need to go to the elevator, so I'm, I'm getting getting lost back my ass up. I guess just FYI, if any of you guys do end up interested in this, I'm not sure if it's still available like this, but um, there was a, a notable pre-order discount on uh, PSN if you have PS Plus. Now that the game is out, I don't know if that sale still applies, but it was, uh, it was a nice discount, so I took it. I'm sorry, senior exec. This is your life now. Time to work. Meet me in the maintenance. God, that accent is so thick. Maintenance, and there's still three other floors to get to. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. got his pony walk, man. I was impressed there were no loads for such a long time, so I guess inevitably we're going to hit some. Uh, yeah, we're playing on PS4 Pro, that's correct. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me find reach the Find Ati override. the janitor. Kill Maybe Ati the janitor. Maybe it was you who got me into Oh my god, look at these huge the redacted lockdown. portions of the map. That's really cool. Maybe it was also, Ati. look how huge it this fucking like area is. It's gargantuan. It took me to Trench's office. It seems bigger than the previous floor, actually. Is Ati guiding me too? Directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? they built that lets them do that. I'd love to see how that software works. Super cool. Never mind, I'm invincible. 
that on the level of the vine growth in God of War. Uh, I don't know, because I'm not sure how how it works, you know? Like, it's not a bunch of independent objects. Like, they're actually, like, extruding vertices in, like, a really complex combination of, of or a complex order. It's really interesting. The God of War thing is, like, hyper fancy shaders. At least I get how that one works a bit better. Okay, look, the next one is Construct Spin, which looks like a revolver. Generous magazine and high rate of... Never mind, it's a machine gun. It looks like a revolver, but definitely not that. <laughs> Board countermeasures. So I can turn in... Yeah, I can turn that one in so you get a random weapon mod. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if these things are super worth coming back for, just for these. But whatever. It doesn't hurt to at least turn them in, like, when we reach new ones. Oh, don't like it. Okay, so these are explosives. Now can I wander in? No, definitely not. It's the ground that's gonna fuck me up. So I need to get something for that. This wall looks so mysterious. I was really hoping it would be illusory. down that way. Investigate the strange light in the break room. Oh, jeez. My chest! <laughs> Is that a little pony? Cleanse the merry-go-round horse object of power. Ugh. Yeah, okay. This place makes me nauseous. Object of power. Well, How do you think it got down here? That's so cool. A the level of detail on the lighting is so wonderful. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? This dodgy thing, cool. Horse slash choo choo allows you to evade slash dash. Okay, yeah, well. Horse slash choo choo. I wonder if that's the same meter as, uh, as the grip. Oh, I guess I got crushed there. Old enemies are immune to my attacks. Okay. Yeah, that, that's correct. Let's see if he has to keep up with me now. Yeah, it seems like a fun ability. Almost makes me wish I hadn't spent all my ability points on melee, right? Now I'm gonna want him for this. Yeah, we fall right back in. What did we get there? Launch efficient. Right, we got energy boost. Plus 6% energy. What do I have for. I have that, like, amazing rare health thing that, again, I probably got from pre ordering. Health recovery on pickup. Energy plus 6%. Health recovery on pickup. 
energy boost seems good considering it's used for a bunch of stuff. So I can also deconstruct shit I'm not using. Because you get currency for it. Not a lot, but I guess it's worthwhile. Uh, so damage after a kill, but I got one that was specifically for the shatter, right? I got recoil efficiency and projectile boost. So it's only 2% projectile boost, so I'm going to go for the recoil efficiency. The light goes on forever. You can get lost in all that light and never find your way back home. Run is my home. Yeah, okay. we get to fight them later. It's really the last boss we deserve. Yeah, standing just like that, of course. That's great. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Salatana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus Monperkele swore out that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Berkele. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. 
I've left you clear instructions. Yes, Look thank at you. The end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here, you can do later when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. Oh, okay, it's level two, there we go. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Man, he's great. So I don't think I know anyone who speaks Finnish, but I know a lot of people who speak English as their second language, and that's that's what people sound like. Like, it feels very well written. What a mess, burn the trash. Let's do it. Burn the trash. Furnish chamber. Throw it okay. into fire. Burn it all. Okay, there was an area burn it into back that I could have unlocked with my tier two unlocking skills. Not this way. Yeah, the maps is good for some reason. Like a, like a Oh, I'm really gonna die. <laughs> oh no, that's locked. Oh man, I actually did die. I like that uh, color inversion when you die there. That's really good looking. So it seems like you have a magic pixel too on your health bar. Because I got hit by an explosive as a thing that put me down to one. And uh, I still lived. Magic pixel is so fun though, honestly. I don't often feel like there are many games where I would rather not have a magic pixel, you know. Uh, so the locked door was just before this checkpoint, actually. Actually kind of conveniently put me in the right spot for this. Gosh, a little further back than I remember that. Probably won't be worth my time. This door. Probably will be worth my time when I actually go read those. Seems like it might be a little quicker to just hop and dash everywhere. Oh, we got a lot of ability points, damn. Okay. Oh, I can't upgrade my dash. Okay. Well, I can put it all into melee. <laughs> it's just... Melee 3, let's go. Okay, now I need uh, another 3 skill points to get Melee 4. I need 15,000 for this? Yeah, I do. And I need 5,000 for that. Okay. Unfortunately, it did use that one. Some trash. Did the map restore itself? No, the map's still gone. The SCP got my map. The poster's gone from the front of the door now. Oh, 
Again, if that thing blows up, power explosion too much. Director's duty keep the lights on. I send it away and go under the lift? I need to know this. Ah, it's just the metal floor. <laughs> Disappointing remedy. <laughs> That's like almost as important as putting caves behind your waterfalls. Almost. NSC power plant. Okay, there's actually people here, too. Hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Okie dokie. Not sure what her dialect was. Oh wait, I can actually. Ma'am, hey, Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit it's show interesting now. how everyone, you know, just follows the ground, director. Whatever's gotten into our buddies hasn't reckoned... Uh, without without posts, knowing anything about them. The NSC keeps you're overheating. You're the director. My crew's just how it is. Shop before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. online she knows she knows I just wanted to make sure that's a funny bit of like ambient dialogue there people always get annoyed when games like tell you over and over to do something so the game telling you to do something and then having the game criticize itself for telling you to do something to make you feel better is interesting I don't think any of these are fulfilled right now, yeah. Oh wow, 
you know that it's not going to touch the ground. You could go some real distance with that, then. Oh, shit. on 50. Let's see if I can actually do it this time. Game's on a 1050, right? So no ray tracing. Yeah, I have a 1050 Ti, but I'm actually on a PS4 Pro, so no ray tracing. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, my map's still broken. I don't know what happened there. My name is Dr. Peterson, lead researcher. Not that I don't want to listen to these things, but if we did, we'd be here all day. Okay, so the trash, I guess, was that green barrel and the other green barrels. By the crash, did Ati mean barrels yeah. full of hazardous biological material? It seems like breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal. For the if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Yeah, this game would use HDR really well with, with how insanely bright this thing is. <laughs> Still missing literally half. Did I miss another three barrels or is there other trash? Or shall I just toss it? Whatever. Oh shit. Oh, there's a downstairs portion. Oh, okay. Well. Can you 
you dash straight up. I do not believe there is an up dash option, no. Oh, it looks like this is from the other side. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's all, uh, all horizontal. Please break some more of those railings, it sounds godlike. I know, eh? I noticed that when I was climbing up here. Amazing, I'm so good. I'm so good at fucking walking straight. Oh shit, I can climb up there. Hang on, we can save this. We can save this. This is, this is, this is the trick. This is how you get out of here. Oh, we're all, we almost made it out. Unfortunately, we lost it all. I really wish my map, oh there it is, the map finally came back. Look, we got an SCP, I saw that move. I think everything's just very receptive. Oh, there's a TV up here, that's got a fire on it. Oh wow, so yeah, the furnace chamber has like a huge area leading off the side of it. Seems like we'll get there from the uh, main power plant area too, in this direction? Yeah, I don't think I can get to that right yet. Oh, it may be up. It may be on one of these struts. Is there a new gun mode? Yeah, there's a third one in the shop right now, but I don't, uh, I don't have enough currency for it yet. Right now, we've just got the default and the shotgun one. Shotguns are fun, but they can pull them This game has real as far as I know anyway. Really appreciate that dude just hanging around. It's really helpful, you know. It's a team effort. I don't like that sound. map redacted since you haven't explored them yet. I imagine that's the case. Uh, I still haven't explored them yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but I imagine. It just makes sense, right? It's, it's the first time we encounter them. So I haven't explored all the other places with question marks either, so. Okay, so. This area is not really, not really explorable. Yeah, it's not even the goop on the floor, it's just the area that damages you, so. 
come back to that later. And then we have energy triggers here. I assume it's going to close the door. Yeah. I saw there was another one. Maybe I have to grab one. It's fried up. You need to fix it. Maybe all the old big pants inside the plant has a shit. I didn't get my 50 kills, did I? I think I was at 30 something. I blew it. I blew it again. <laughs> one day, one day I'll manage. I need to not go in as much. Your melee options aren't good enough that you should bother going in, really. I need to I need to do the shooter stuff. Take cover. Fight from a distance. The shooter stuff, you know? Maybe they'll give you a katana at some point. Yeah, I can only hope. Yeah, one on 50. Let's go. shot all fairness to him. A good defense. Another side quest. Investigate the training course. Is that here? I don't know where the training course is. Like, maybe it would be worthwhile to invest the health, but ultimately I really just want to power up the man. want to see how good that gets. Difficulty setting at the start. Um, actually, I don't remember there being one. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I just glossed over it, but now that you mention it, I don't quite recall seeing one. I can check if there's one in the options, anyway. In the options, anyway. Yeah, actually, I don't, uh... I don't think there was one. The difficulty seems kind of nice, though. I guess the bummer would be if you just want a hard difficulty.
Ah, let me through. Let me in. Can I just jump it? Oh, yeah, look at that. So athletic. How have you been? How's school? School's fun. I only I only had one class so far, so maybe I'm speaking a little too early, but I had an absolute blast in my class on Friday. I have class again tonight at uh, 6.30, which is in four hours. So, but it, it's nice. I really like it. Teachers, uh, the two teachers I've met of the four are super good. I already, I already knew one of them. He's like a, I guess I'd say he's a friend of mine. Um, but the others seem really nice. I'm gonna meet a new guy tonight, which is cool. All the other, all my classmates seem really great as well, which is nice. It's a, it's a continuing education program, so no, no kids or anything. It's all people who have worked before, who have been to Seja or college, and who have worked in the, in well, I guess not. It didn't have to be the video game industry, but they've worked in an industry after school, so. That's really nice, because I didn't think about it initially, but I wouldn't really want to be doing this with kids, you know? <laughs> I want people who are serious about it. I think I missed an exit back there. Have you taken a lot of courses? Well, the full course load for the program is mandatory, uh, but it's, it's just four classes a week. Each one's four hours long. Uh, so. It's not the worst. It is full time, though. I have uh, Friday off every week, except for weeks with like a, uh, a holiday on the Monday, in which case I have no days off, it just all gets shifted Tuesday to, Tuesday to uh, Friday. Watch Liam still be the youngest one there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm afraid not. I'm 27, you know, I'm not, not old, but I'm, uh, I'm no longer the youngest person in the room pretty frequently. Oh, this is what I mean. but to be frank, I've only had one, so <laughs> still a little early. I'm really glad I liked the first one. It, it was nice. It felt like for the first time in my life, I really wanted to be at school, you know? Uh, and that was a really satisfying feeling to actually want to learn about the stuff being taught as opposed to, you know, just being there because that's what, that's what you do to be a student. You know? Now let's fix the pumps and water flow. I really didn't get along with Sage up the first time. Actually, I thought that I dropped out. Uh, I found out recently, because I got to look at my permanent record, that I actually was expelled. <laughs> I actually didn't formally finish the, um, the dropping out process properly. And so I was expelled because I didn't finish it, like the dropping out process, <laughs> which I thought was really amusing. I, you know, I can laugh about it all these years later. I imagine I'm on the first floor. Oh, no, not actually. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty fun, but everything worked out. Who's laughing now? Yeah, literally me. I love it. Okay, so this pops me out in the power plant over here, which doesn't really do much for me, so I'm going to head right back in and we're going to go to, I guess, Black Rock Quarry. Oh wait, what's that room over there? So let me just back up the, the control room, which, oh, this is where we came in, yeah, of course. I will keep an eye out for bots in chat, BSTPNV, thank you for the, thank you for the heads up. Rockto says, man, I always get nightmares about having to return to grade school because I missed a class. Like, all my adult privileges get revoked and I had to move back in with my parents because I didn't pass third grade math. Man! <laughs> I cannot say I empathize with that fear. It's never occurred to me because it ain't possible. But that's pretty funny. I hope you'll allow me to, to giggle at your, at your fear. It's an interesting one. 
streaming revoked. Yeah, living with your girlfriend revoked. Everything revoked. Okay, so I gotta get behind that door somehow. Straight to elementary school. One be reviewer says, I heard this and Astral Chain have gotten good reviews. Yeah, they both reviewed amazingly, actually. Astral Chain did better than I thought it would. Not that I don't have faith in Platinum. I do have faith in Platinum, but... You know, I just didn't think it would review quite that high. Okay, so I think I actually do have to kind of exit this zone for the time being. Seems like I need to get past that level 5 block to do anything. Which, I'm still at 2, right? Yeah, clearance level 2. A safe in the field training ops, of course. Yeah, I gotta find that. Olive says, God, I hate school with a passion, and I don't know why. You know, when I was in uh, college, I felt the same way. <laughs> I just really hated being there. I wasn't studying something I was interested in, and I mean, I, I was just coming in and sitting down until eventually I wasn't. I just stopped going to class, stopped doing my work. It was bad, it was a bad period. You know, I was still, I would still say I was a kid back then. You know, I still felt like I have to you know, meet the expectations set by my parents, and. That was rough to, to reconcile with where I was actually at emotionally and in terms of like desires and stuff. I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I survived. Now I get to go to cool school for cool people to learn to be cool. That's what I desperately need. Expecting an, an oop to just pop out of one of these toilet stalls eventually. Like, it seems too obvious. Also, there's like a bunch of sound in here now. What was with that sound? <laughs> Is everything okay in here? <laughs> Should I be breaking all the toilets? <laughs> Bathrooms are like that? Yeah, okay. Maybe in Finland. It's like I'm playing Prey all over again. Okay, field training. We're getting to that course. Oh, what a nice area. This is probably what's making the sound. Locking this door, okay. Finnish person here can confirm. Okay, cool. Thank you for the confirmation that they're bet they're just like that in Finland. Honestly, that makes sense. It's not whisper in Canada. I'm afraid not. So, so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all? Or? I always did love obstacle Get ready, courses. Ranger. Course starting in five, four. Is glass just gonna three, open? Because I really need to open. One. Go. Do I go through the door? Yeah, okay, start, okay. Forty-five seconds remaining. Fifteen seconds from 
remaining. Yeah, I may need to give this a second go. Five seconds remaining. Force failed. Yeah. Try again, Ranger. Ah, oh, one more room. Okay, I think I can get it, though. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, he sounds more disappointed in me than I do. Go this grab and save. Part of the course. Normally and easily. It's protecting itself. We need to hit it harder to break the chain. Oh, is that it? I hit it harder. Okay. First time I went, I did a, uh, a cinema program. Uh, I wasn't able to. How do I use shield? Neat. I wasn't uh, able to do the one video game course that existed because I didn't have the math necessary for it. Uh, um, so it was either uh, do high math and then do that, or do another course and I figured well out and I'm going to go down and check out something that says I'm going to get a job and support myself and whatever. Um, so the, the choice was, okay, I'm going to do cinema. You know, it's not video games, but yeah, maybe some of the, the creative desires there will overlap hard with the and unfortunately that really wasn't the case. I really just didn't enjoy studying. Some of the classes were okay, but it, it wasn't what I wanted to do, and it just didn't stick. It didn't work out. So, yeah, I did. I did pick up some stuff for the cinema courses that I still remember. That I, you know, I appreciate learning, but I was just, I was just so checked out. Totally not what I wanted to do. This program didn't exist back then either. So. killed me. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. Can I get up there? Yeah, I started on Friday. That was when I started school. Glad you're following your dreams. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate the take it as a show of faith. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing it too, honestly. I'm, I'm very happy. It took a lot to, to decide to go back. You know, like, like it when you start thinking about it, it like feels like a failure. It feels like a big step back, you know, like, oh, I was in school, I did school, and I'm beyond school, you know? People ask you if you're a student, and you proudly go like, no, I'm not a student, actually, I work. I, you know, I take care of myself. But that was, that was a load of baloney. I was, I had the wrong mindset, and I'm really glad that I, uh, that yeah, I'm doing that. Did you have to learn trigonometry before you could even learn to code in that college? 
Um, I, d I don't know. All I know is you needed uh, high school, high math, so I don't know what they wanted from you, honestly. Okay, not having a map is a huge pain. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, this carpet. So nice. Oh, this fucking art. Also, yeah, we, we've seen these before. These, these, um, um, what are they called? The, 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 the punch hole paper things for, like, timing in and stuff. Um, they've shown up in a few other areas emblazoning the walls like this, or ador adorning the walls like this, and they work so well artistically. Such a strong look. Punch paper job things. Yeah, that's what they're called. Punch paper job things. That's it. Oh, I broke the ceiling with my head. That hasn't happened to me in a while. Cool how so much is destructible, but everything does seem a little sensitive to your touch. Like a little overly sensitive. Jesus! <laughs> Did I hit 50? <laughs> Did I actually hit 50 or no? <laughs> I really hope I did. I feel like I might have. Because I, I feel like I saw the ticker go away, but... I'm really not sure. Definitely seems like, given the health isn't regenerating in this game, those health upgrades are real valuable. Uh, progress 0 on 50. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I did get it, but maybe it doesn't uh, hang on to it unless you actually come back with the 50. Hang on, it's frozen. It's doing that thing again, where it just freezes for a little while. Maybe it's actually fully frozen right now. Oh, there we go, we're good. It's just doing that thing again. It's ha this is the third time it's happened. Never during gameplay, but. Abilities, yeah, there's the shield. Okay, I should get melee four. And then I could get melee five next. It only needs one more ability point, actually. Almost there. That checkpoint was actually, like, a fair distance away. Jeez, that was... Yeah, that was a fair distance. Fuck. Okay. I didn't find a checkpoint in the access corridors yet. So, oops, let me back up to the main control room and just swoosh my way around. I'll work with that. Hold together a little Sorry, I'm busy longer. doing like literally everything else, dude. Okay, yeah, we did field training. Sorry. Okay, we're back. I feel like we should find a checkpoint soon.
Okay, please checkpoint. Oh, no. Okay, so this is a redacted area. Can I just walk it? I'm gonna go with a no for that one. <laughs> oh, the checkpoint's so far away. <laughs> Damn it. I thought also dropping wouldn't be so bad because I know if you drop in the astral plane, you don't go back to a checkpoint. You just kind of get popped back up. So. so what is this game? A cool third person shooter with like a SCP sort of vibe. So very mysterious. Welcome to Pityos Ruins. Uh, Pityos Ruins was dope. I mean, I love it. What I did not love doing was doing them the second like time because I crashed my fucking airship. That was like the biggest misery ever. Finishing the Pityos ruins and then immediately crashing my ship. Like, it doesn't auto save when you finish Pityos, so. Okay, is this fight gonna return? No, okay, it seems like the fight's clear. So, what was it gonna call? Did it have a name? Atlas Chamber, Black Rock Processing. Now let's see if we can figure this out as opposed to dying. Let's see if I can do anything except for what I just did. Because I could jump and try to dash, but that seems pretty far. Like, whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, okay, so the other half has to pop out and meet me halfway, I think. And unfortunately, that, that seems like that's just what's gone wrong here. So maybe you do come at this from the other side, perhaps. Try falling again, maybe it will work this time. Oof. Oof. That sounds tempting. Oh look, the security camera's trapped here, that's so neat. Oh, wet camera. Okay, so this is a dead end for me now. Okay. So, fix the coolant pumps. Uh, let's do it. There were signs that pointed towards the coolant pumps, so I imagine those lead to the coolant pumps. Cooling water, cooling pumps, there we go. Yeah, we did come this way before. I must have missed something. Yeah, we came into this room too. God, the fucking map bug is actually really bothersome. That's probably why I missed whatever direction we were supposed to head in after this. The map back at this point. Furnace chamber's that way. Ah, cool. I'm going this way. Yeah, I totally just missed it for no reason. My B. Place is gonna come down. Can I get in that? Can I use successive dashes to make it, or is that too far? Oh, that was bad. How embarrassing. And a 
see coolant pumps. We're in. What was down there? This is the way forward. Now I need to know. Thought I found the secret place. Maybe that was a secret place. Maybe I should go back up to it and see if there was a chest. chest in the center, too. Yeah, I didn't think so. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Just dash before you hit the ground. You're good. This is the clog. It's a sting. Oh, oh my god. I had very little life when I entered that room, so I was, uh, well, dead before I knew it. Fuck, the last checkpoint. I haven't hit a checkpoint in a while. Straight up. Unless maybe I walked past one uh, before the furnace, maybe? Possibly? I hope so. Because I don't want to walk all the way back from wherever the heck I was before. Ah, shit, I'm all the way back here. Fuck. Uh, unfortunate. I don't like that sound. feel like I made much of a mistake there either, so I can't kind of feel a little a little bleh about that in there. I guess my mistake is not having any life. Ah, there was a checkpoint here. I guess you have to visit them to pop them, maybe. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's my mistake, my true mistake. Okay, I'm actually gonna I could save up for the weapon, but I think I should, just while I can afford it, upgrade the, the level of constructs I can make so that I can eventually take advantage of that and get some good constructs. For the time being, I'll just stick with what I got, because I mean, we're good. <laughs> we're fine, honestly. Still early on. Hold together yeah, let's go through the bottom, longer. at least. I hope they patch this map thing. Very weird issue. handy if there were like dead enemies and you just really needed life, you could like guard yourself and maneuver yourself over all life. That makes sense I suppose.
so good at aiming, guys. <laughs> Don't laugh at my bad aim. Hit something eventually, I swear. Okay, we good? It sure doesn't sound like we good. enemies without dying, by the way. <laughs> but who's keeping track? Not me. I don't care. I don't care one bit that I didn't get it twice. Not at all. Yeah, I'm sorry about the mic audio. I don't know what exactly is going on with that. It seems like it's awful quiet, though. Like, the game's at half volume, too. I don't know why my mic is, is doing this. Okay, so I don't have another checkpoint, so I got... Oh, wait, hang on. Do you have this? Oh, okay. Shit! What now? My old enemy, the block, is blocking the pipes. You need to be... He's very clever. He's trying to sneak in. Yeah, that spray is what killed me last time. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. We good? Okay, now we can access the pipe works. I gotta be careful for this thing, so. Yeah, there we go. And then I think that's it. I think we've cleared it. Unless there is a central gunk. Okay, I think we've cleared it. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Let's go lift the lockdown. Uh, there's a door over to the right-hand side of this area that I'd like to check out. Two of them, actually. Oh, look, there's a big elevator. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a big guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, he did a lot of damage.
Ah, I don't know how to switch shoulders either. Oh, there we go. Down on the... <laughs> Is there no way to heal in this game? Uh, you heal from uh, enemy drops. Your little blue, little blue orbs. But all the enemy drops from the enemies that were previously here have vanished. That was unfortunate. So where am I gonna get put back to, I wonder? Can you shoulder switch while using telekinesis? You can't, unfortunately. I tried and I, I would've, because then I wouldn't have blown myself up. But uh, unfortunately, no, that doesn't seem to be a thing. You know, we're playing on uh, PS4 Pro, Bishop Bane, so. Okay, so we're here. So if I want to redo that, yes, I gotta go this way. And I imagine he'll just be down there now. Oh, this place is gonna come down. semi-open world. I've seen uh, the developers describe it as as like Metroidvania-like the whole time. Um, so I, don't, I, I wouldn't say open world, but you know, you're definitely going to be returning to places once you have keys. That's uh, evident enough from what we've played. If only I could make this jump. Can I get up there somehow? Can I zoop around it? I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get this treasure chest until later in the game. Oh, if you grab and nothing's there, you just throw something on the wall. That's cool. Okay, so I guess let's head down and see. Uh, see if we got to do this fight. Okay, this I was able to shred his shields pretty well with the explosive. <laughs> Some light. 
literally don't really know what I tossed at him, but I'll take it. Yeah, look, he drops life all throughout. As I was doing damage to him. It's literally littered everywhere, that's great. Okay, I did it. Wasn't the most satisfying, but hey. I guess that'll be a new enemy type we'll encounter. Probably with a more reasonable amount of life, but... Adrian Bauer says, Imagine demaking this as a launch title for the Wii. That is a very specific fantasy, Adrian. But I expect you'll jump right to that. Just rest in peace, Owlboy 2. Time for control. That really seems like the main reason to use the shield, honestly. Whoa, I took a lot of damage from whatever that was. Yeah, sorry I moved away from the mic there. I need to sort out what is making my mic quiet after this stream. It's not really acceptable. Ah, still no ability point for my um, my ultimate melee. So close to having a perfect build, huh? Lift the internal lockdown. Okay, that would be, I guess, in central maintenance. No NSC control room. of maps. It's not through here, is it? Oh, good. There's a map here I can look at. I'm going to control room. That's three. Okay. Um, I don't think... I think the elevator is what leads to it. Oh yeah, was this the the elevator? Oh, shit, maybe that was it. I don't think it was. No, control room's further this way. Yeah, there we go. There's the elevator. Oh, you can't jump on this elevator. My mom hates it when I jump on elevators. Granted, I haven't done that in quite a few years, but... Part-time commie says, doesn't it feel good when you're actually using the in-game environment to navigate rather than a map? Yes, it does. It's absolutely great. I love it. Hi there, by the way. How you doing?
few. Okay, we got a checkpoint. Been a hot minute. So seamless. <laughs> Forces contain the lockdown only be lifted by Oh good, use the gun. I'm glad it's built for the gun. This magic facility. Oh, there's the room I was talking about at the beginning, the cube room. It's so beautiful. That's it. It's all the other section should be open now. I think it's time I told them why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Oh, this is like right back at the beginning now. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we can go pretty much everywhere. We gonna get some exposition? I hope so. I wouldn't mind a little bit of context. Right now it's been very context free, which at the beginning was really, really cool. And now I'm like, okay, I could use anything. Cause I feel like so far, like it's been very mysterious and that's cool, mystery's cool. Um, but it wasn't much more than that. It was just a little mysterious and, and nothing else. Just a little surreal. Um, so, please provide me with some good shit, Emily. Uh, also, I gotta say, so far, the, the oops I've seen, the objects of power, they've been pretty banal. I haven't seen anything super thrilling yet, so... Like, the gun's the most intriguing one, and ultimately, for our purposes, it's just gun, so... Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. She's like, I want that. I would I like to study this. It. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. 
Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. <laughs> That's so menacing. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I can get my ultimate melee now. Yeah, the janitor's definitely got some... some weird stuff going on beyond what we know. Maybe he's an trench was shot dead. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling argue. Okay, let me cash out Max Melee. Let's go. I like that secondary um, ability point thing along the bottom of the screen. This little track where you get larger upgrades for using your points to encourage you to spend. I think that's cool. I think that's a pretty thoughtful idea. I'm going to increase shield strength. I think it would actually be fine if I wanted to just increase a couple of base things to cost one. I don't see why not. Janitors are never to be trusted. Yeah, they don't, don't, don't speak to janitors. Never look them in the eye. They may strike. Oh shit, I got a timer on this maintenance thing. Well, I can certainly go check it out. Oh yeah, you do play as janitors in Dust Force, don't you? That's a cool ass game. It's way too hard for me though. Like the ending's really rough. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough, but it was a lot. It demands so much for those like final special levels. Really cool though. NSC energy converters. Okay, that's a fair distance away. I assume this is like a a little mini side mission. Slow down too much. 
uh, just up ahead and right through here. Oh no. Wait, this goes to the control room? Oh, that's not right. I can go to the next door over. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, sorry, I don't think I finished my thought before. I assume these are little, just little timed missions that, like, you get bonus loot from for clearing. And I assume they kind of would repop for different areas and such. I guess that's why it's called Major Targets. Oh, that little uh, cross next to their uh, bar means they were trying to like oh, I know you are. Major targets, no- oh shit! Major targets, no kidding. Oh fuck. Iced. Okay, so these are fairly challenging, these things. Was that 50? What do you mean, was there an enemy that you saw that was level 50? That don't seem right. Maybe five. Oh, 50 enemies. Was there an enemy ticker somewhere? I didn't see one. Oh, look, and the mission's gone now. Yeah, you get one go at it. Neat. That's a fun thing. That's a fun little mechanic. So I guess, yeah, you probably get good loot for finishing those things. Although they are, again, pretty demanding, so. Uh, we're playing on PS4 Pro, Eric. -y. This version seems nice. So I can get the contract spin, the upgrade grip. Oh, you get to upgrade your older ones, I see. Well, I'll get the spin anyway, which is the machine gun, I suppose. Uh, how do I, oh yeah, I need to unequip one of them, I see. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect, but it's nice. Okay, well I think I'm gonna wrap up there for the day. I think we've all gotten a pretty good idea of what control is and how this game be. It's cool. Um, I think my only complaint right now is that I feel like I haven't seen many or any interesting, like really interesting SCP-like enemies. Like, the enemies have been actually pretty plain so far. It's just been, you know, enemy with gun, enemy with gun, enemy who explode. Uh, I would like to fight some more abstract things where maybe you have to figure them out, you know, figure out how do you, like, how do you even hurt, you know, how do you even see this thing? How do you even hurt this thing? How do you even expose it? That would be cool. Otherwise, if, if all you want is, like, a third-person shooter with hella flavor, you're getting a real good third-person shooter with hella flavor. Because as far as the shooting is concerned, too, it feels really good. Uh, no, no issues on that front. I mean, Quantum Break was already really good, and this feels like it's just building on top of that. So, are we going to continue this or move on to something else? Uh, for tonight, we're going to be done. Uh, I have 
class in a few hours and I still have some homework I'd like to properly readdress. Um, for tonight we're going to be done. Uh, I'm going to be continuing to stream Bloodstained in the future. Uh, I would like, hopefully I'm going to stream Bloodstained tomorrow and the day after so that we can move on to Astral Chain when that comes out on the 30th. I'm, I'm just too rammed to like even consider doing all of the control or anything, but it's cool. Have you been playing like this change in my I said Hella. I just say Hella always. Hella is real. Hella is super real. Sorry to hear that stuff's going on, Sinkama. I hope, I hope you can get through it. It's never fun to have those periods, so. Liam's a California boy. California is my spirit state. Is that how that works? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, okay, let me, let me crack open Streamlabs. Shoutouts, shoutouts today to Pharos of Light, PK something, VZLA Nemesis, Green Cutlass, Courage Bateau, Je Trouverai, Hopeless Dreamer, Galley Freeman, Flippy the Grunt, and Jaruna Parva for their subscriptions. I super appreciate your patronage. And likewise, I super appreciate the other hundred-something people tuning in. I'm not going to do the math. I'm not going to think through how many names I said. I thought I was smart enough for that, but that's the truth. I know I ain't, so... <laughs> anyway, I'll be around uh, again, hopefully tomorrow with Bloodstained. We'll see. I've come to the realization, like, now that I'm actually in class and, like, working on other stuff simultaneously, that this is really, really going to impact streaming. Um, I was hopeful that it wouldn't, but it's going to, so just, just letting you know that, I mean, I know I'm already pretty inconsistent, but just letting you know ahead of time that that could happen again. If you're ever, if you're ever feeling like you're not getting enough out of your subscription or what have you, like, feel free to unsubscribe, you know, like, really no hard feelings or anything. You know, I want to make sure everyone feels good about the way things are arranged, you know, so, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked that little look at Control. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. Um, yeah, I'll be around, hopefully tomorrow with Bloodstained, we will see. Uh, I also, Matt and I recorded a video for the game Nights and Bikes that will hopefully go up maybe sometimes today, sometime today on YouTube, so if you're looking for a really cool co-op game, like, like Secret of Mana style kind of thing, uh, that game is fucking tight. It's really cool. You play as two little kids who scream a lot. So, yeah, it's dope. Anyway, I'll be around. Have a good evening. Take care. Sleep tight. Bye-bye.